Okay, hi ladies, greetings from Toronto, Canada. How are you? Hey. So hello Toronto. Well, you're all welcome. We have I've I've already decided with all the guys that I just spoke to, we're all gonna hang out at Drake's mansion. Gonna join us? Yes, let's do that. Please send the ticket now. <laughs> right now. We'll all get lost. We'll try to find each other in the end. Uh, congratulations on a great season one, season two. So exciting. Cassandra, I want to start with you because I wanted to know once everybody kind of got, you know, at the initial freaking this that you were playing these iconic characters yet you were able to make them your own which is so phenomenal how great was that for you and how fast did you kind of just get into it and just go there yeah thanks for asking I mean I think it all starts with the creator of the show Morgan Cooper he said from day one that you're not here to duplicate you're here to find your own shoes create your own shoes so uh that gave me and I'm sure everyone else more room to be like, ah, oh, it doesn't have to feel so shackled to the original because I definitely had that fear. I respect Daphne Maxwell and Janet Hubert so much that I was like, I'm not either one of those people. And he's like, that's exactly right. But we definitely have layers that are in common. So I try to keep that there and then try to forget about the rest. And I'm just so grateful that the audience has been that the audience has embraced our rendition of this show. It's really sort of amazing. Yeah, it, it is amazing. It is amazing. Okay, Coco, uh, Coco you next. Um, you know, look, we've got the Banks ladies sitting there. It's so amazing. You guys have such a great dynamic on screen. I would think Offset, too, you've just maybe become quite a little family. Although we know that all families have drama. But you guys are pulling it off really well. What's it like, uh, Coco, to, to work with these ladies and to inhabit this great character that you're playing. I think it's all such a blessing. I mean, you go from auditioning over and over again to getting a job. It feels kind of like hitting the lottery in a sense because your whole life changes. And then on top of that, I get to work with people that I feel so like seen by and loved by. And we all just support each other and want to see the success in each other. I mean, literally they're singing my songs all the time. Like, I feel like they're my second family. Cass is like definitely like a, a mom role to me. And I, I look up to her and I love Akira. She's like my little sis. She be teaching me the TikToks. And it's really just become like a, a family dynamic that we don't even have to try and, and have. It just is, it's just so second nature. And honestly, when we're not on set, we still see each other all the time. It's impossible to escape each other and I think that's what brought us together so closely it's and so I think it true. plays off on camera as well and everyone feels that in the audience absolutely and we love we love seeing you know the drama I mean it's fun too but the, it, that's what I love so much about this series is it is so completely different and you get this aspect of it um okay Akira we gotta talk um Tatiana Tatiana Ali mm -hmm. I mean seriously uh what was it like when she first, you know, to have somebody like this on the set who was in the original, but she's such a lovely and amazing person. Tell me a little bit about what it was like day one to do, you know, to be with this woman on set and what do you learn from someone like her? I mean, honestly, day one, it was quite intimidating because I was like, oh my gosh, she's about to watch me be her basically. Yeah. <laughs> um, But really, what she told me is that she was proud of me and that I was in the right path of making this new dynamic of Ashley. And honestly, I thought that was that was so wow. special to me because I just realized how great I was doing. And she's the one that told me. So I was like, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I, Cassandra, just want to you know jump in on that because so just to have Tatiana, there's somebody who is an OG. I mean, and there I know there are people affiliated like Quincy Jones. I mean, I mean, whatever from the original, but to have her there, like, what do you glean from from that kind of experience? Yeah, I mean, I definitely you know ran to her when she was on set, and I was just like, ah, oh, what do we need to know? Talk, and she just you know her and Daphne Maxwell last season the same sort of generous yeah. spirited people and she was like she was so overwhelmed with how she felt like we took such good care of these characters and honored them and she was just like listen Cassie she's like take lots of pictures because she's like this is so special and she just she really she believes the show's even bigger she believes the show will be even bigger than what it is now she's like you don't know what you have until it's over with and she's like right. we were doing fresh prince none of us knew that it was this iconic show and she's like y'all are in it but she's like looking at you all from outside she had 
she had just a very different perspective. And she's like, you don't know what you're doing and how you'll be affecting people for generations. And cause that's been her experience, you know? Right. Uh, right. So I, it's just very humbling to meet her and overwhelming, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so true. Those are very wise words. That's for sure. Well, ladies, I wish I had more time, but congratulations on, on season two. Uh, we love you here in Canada. And thank you so much for your time today and have a great weekend. Thank you. Listen, thank you. Appreciate it so much. Okay. Thank you. Bye ladies. Bye-bye.